day and welcome to episode 19 of Hat Chat, which allegedly is the chat which wears a hat. Thank you, Al Smithy, for that yeah. ridiculous coining of that term. Right here, buddy. Uh, I hope you're having a lovely day, uh, wherever you're sat listening to this. And uh, now you get to hear the lovely voice of Chris Trot. <laughs> Hello. They might, they might be running. Like they might be running. I think we're kind of uh, jogging I don't, music. Yeah, I, I don't. Oh, come I, back! I don't think they heard you, Trot. This is Chris Trot. Hello. Shut your mouth. Hello. And, this, and we're also oh, joined by so the de- <laughs> We're also joined by the delightful Alex Smith. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for coming down. Yeah, thank Hold you. Hold on, you can't. Aka Al Smithy. You can't just give yourself your own fanfare like that. Yeah, he, he did. Might add a few more in. All right. I'm impressed. Yeah. It makes up for all the terrible things he says about all our fans, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> behind the scenes. That is categorically <laughs> untrue. I don't know how I can deny that without sounding like committing it, but... Yeah. <laughs> well. So, he also has an assistant produce. to control his Twitter account, so what does that mean? Yeah, he's not legit in any he's sense. He's not legit in any sense. What's he going doesn't on? He's a robot. I, he's wish, I wish I didn't have to pay for my personality. Oh, he's got also expensive. got four people for the W A S D keys, oh, one finger each. No, they're tiny people. They've, they've been <laughs> bred. They've been they're bred little to stand people. On each key. Come on. They had to jump on each key. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yes, they're little people. They're children. Oh no, they're not children. Oh no. Oh, you can't get away with that. <laughs> oh, why didn't you edit this part out? This is crazy. Oh, this is God. being forty thousand. So controversial. Is this? this is Hat Chat on the brink of self destruction. Who's the exact producer this week? Oh God, um, Jesus Christ! Have you have you looked who that was? It is. Look, yeah, it's the one yeah, and only. Wait for the fanfare. <laughs> Lusty McGluver. Hello. Hello. Hi. Congrats. Hi, and he's got a oh, he's not ridiculous here. shout out. Um, yeah. I don't want to read it. Gonna it's going to say in really a offensive. Scottish accent. Scottish, right. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if he's Scottish I don't know why. or not, but. He's not. But just it's just weird. Hey. 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 Thanks <laughs> to you three already. chaps for creating the community that is pure awesome. Plus, damn you, Trot, you slab of walrus. Lusty. P.S. Smith is better than Trot. <laughs> Lusty. Classic. <laughs> That is such that a is. stereotype. <laughs> Whereabouts um, are you from? Uh, I have I don't know, but I have my mouth sort of like open at the bottom two corners, like uh, and my lips. Did you, you have your assistant hold it closed? Yeah, and, yeah, and the guys yeah, at WAS and D yeah. guys were working my mouth. <laughs> They're still doing it now. Those those guys at WASD, they've um. They've I I just like out. I just emit constant tone, and I've got this guy that just pummels my throat in a way that manipulates my vocal cords. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's also well, got a dribble catcher because it's a controversial oh, method. <laughs> <laughs> it's highly controversial. They highly say I might lose my voice at 25. Yeah. Wow, that's, you got a year. Worth it though. I mean, like, I mean, I've never had to bother to try and form words. It's brilliant. What does yeah. Lusty win? What does he win? Oh. Tell me what he wins. Christ, um, Magicka. <laughs> it looks like Magicka. He's winning Magicka. <laughs> Uh, so I think you're going to get magical feelings when you play the game of Magic in the magical the land of Lusty pack. McLeaver. Alternatively, you can use it as a suppository. You can, can take you? the digital form, maybe print out a picture of the game. Um, <laughs> put it in a time capsule. Screw it up into a tight ball. Uh, <laughs> pop a Johnny on it and <laughs> whip it up there. <laughs> oh and Bob's your uncle, Magicka has been absorbed <laughs> so and on that note enjoy the who's game. our top hatter oh my god oh god who is the top hatter charlotte peters if that is not your mum it's you <laughs> charlotte peters <laughs> if this is not the account of a paypal person that isn't you <laughs> and someone needs to read her a very controversial shout out that says there is no shout out there isn't any because there were errors, probably, uh, miscommunications. <laughs> so, mistakes were made. Uh, or to fill, genuine to fill the, laziness, it could be. To fill be, the void, Ross is going to yodel. So, yodel. take it away. That wasn't loose enough. you got to get loose. Maybe build it up first. Build it up. Yodel. 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 Torturous. Thanks, Charlotte Peters, for your oh, delightful God. shout out. Or your children, whichever one it is. <laughs> trot, trot, be a doll and uh, oh. tell us how we can be 
or the because let's be honest, the, me and the people out there could never ever remember the process. I can never remember the process when it's I do not explain that hard, it. Guys. Nah, but when I explain the process, it's very it's confusing. Rambling. So yeah, right. you how best, can you be mate. top contributor you, you do it best. or the top hatter for the next episode, which has a lot of good prizes? You need to stay tuned. Oh, to it hear. does. Whoa. It actually does. So tune in for the prize section later. But anyway, whip your favorite browser open. What's whip browser? on down to hatbenches.net. Oh. IE5. Yeah. My, I don't that's, think that the internet is compatible really support with that anything. anymore. It's like rich tech, so anyway, basically. Go on hatventures.net. <laughs> Whip yourself over to uh, Hat Chat. Oh, it's not, you it's can't not see it in the. It's, uh, all I'm getting is text based uh, stuff. Oh, so what you need to do is right press. Browser. Have you switched your computer on? Yeah. I've loaded up IE5. Sure it's press... just a really not very rich experience. Oh, Can no. you even enter an address on IE5? I don't, it's, I'm not it's sure. It's IP based, I think. I'm trying to access it. Or do you have to a... put your finger in the dial and kind of ring it? Like, <laughs> ring! See, I'm trying to access mine from a cereal box that I've crafted, uh, and inside <laughs> is just cereal box. Inside is just old printed pieces. Oh, of what paper. you need to do on the back is there right. a, is there a white space on the back? There, there is. Write... Um, there's some text and a little picture of a monkey with some cocoa pops. Yeah, that's what, what you I... can win. You can win a plush toy of that, but you okay. have to write hatventures.net and send right. that. It, it's that empty piece. and it's there's a cutout, uh, so it's fashioned like a screen. Inside is a load of papers with Where not very useful information. Is your paper print out on that paper that's green in the middle with like the perforations on the left and right hand sides and uh, it makes yeah, a really yeah, loud yeah. like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. And I'm not getting any new information from this either. My mouse well, isn't working at all. My recommendation, Ross, is to me. not use, not to try and make a cereal box into a computer. Just, yeah. That's that's the Just first stick step. A I'm also, I'm also using a real life mouse. I'll point out. It kept uh, biting oh me when God. I tried to scroll it. So <laughs> <laughs> I kept scrolling it by fingering its head. <laughs> and it, and I, it didn't its like head. it. Just furiously oh. stroking from the from the tip of the nose to the ah, back of its head. Hold on. Is it plugged in? Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Just oh. whack its tail in the USB port. Shove its tail it keeps, into a it keeps squealing. It keeps squealing and it's yeah, getting that, angry. That's, that's the power on I sound. I found a USB cable. Okay. So, you hungry some fella? Of you. <laughs> you hungry are. fella? Some of you may think that this might be a good idea for Squirrel to come in, but I'm not doing that again because that was like bit, the hardest editing pumped. job I've ever, ever had to do. Basically, how we did yeah. that, this is going off a complete tangent from what we're talking about, but uh, we had two Audacity's recording. So one recording my main mic and one recording on my PC from my headset recording that squirrel voice. And I had to sync those and they kept on going out of sync. So it took me about five hours to do that chat last time. So uh, Welcome to the editing world, you prick. Whoa, anyway, whoa. Welcome to the real. Anyway, uh, how can you be a top contributor slash top, top hat for the next episode? My Can't computer say that shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you don't have a cereal box or IE5. So whip open anything but and go on hatventures.net. At the top, there'll be a tab that says media. Click that, then go to hat chat. And on the right-hand side, there is an orange button that says fucking donate. It might not swear. It doesn't swear, does it? No. Click on that, Avoid and those. then you enter um, like amount above 1,000. 2,000. No, we'll say 2,000. Wow, well, well, those are large 2, amounts. 10,000 likes. For the executive producer, you need to be the highest amount, but that's kind of... What's the latest record? Quarter mil was the latest record, wasn't it? Quart- this is why you guys don't mil, explain. Wow. Yeah, this is why, yeah, we, we go on tangents. That that was good, but I don't think you had enough go-aheads in there. Go ahead uh, and... Go ahead uh, and click that. Uh, every If anyone watches the Source Filmmaker tutorials, <laughs> count how many times the guy says, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, we're going so off tangent, I'm trying to... to explain it properly. Hatventures.net. Click on the media tab, then hat chat. On the right-hand side, there's an orange PayPal button. Click that, enter whatever amount you like. If you're the top contributor between now and the next hat chat, you'll be exec producer and winning some fantastic prizes, which we'll be announcing later. If not, you can donate any amount you want and we'll randomly select you to be the top hatter, just like Charlotte Peters or the children (laughs) of this woman. (laughs) That is how you do it. uh, We'll explain it properly. As an extra little bonus, if you manage to actually use that form of guide in any way amongst all of that other random crap, you can pat yourself on the back. Yeah, Don't do that because you so many people have dislocated their shoulders guys, from trying to pat themselves on the back. Guys, I brought we a golf caddy responsible. for today. A golf caddy? A golf caddy. And Is there's only two electric seats. Sound, electric whirring there's, sound. There's only two seats and there's some room for some golf clubs, but I um, instead I just put loads of boxes of cereal in there. What, so, computers? Why are you, you mean computers? Computers? 
<laughs> yeah, no, some really high tech computers in the back. There's a lot. So there's of mice only room back for two here, of us. Mate. The other person's walk in. But there's a roof, and I think Trot, if you like, put like your hands out really wide, you can try to hold <gasps> onto the roof. Right, I'm off. It's not Let's as go. wide as you think. It's not as wide as you think. <laughs> oh my god, there's mice biting my ass. Let's go. <laughs> Is there a bag of mice uh. up there? It's a bag of mice just, on the roof. Why, 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 would, just, you, why right, would you put it anywhere huge, else? It's your, a cereal box infested with mice. Your best electric motor pulling away sound, please, Ross. That's a good, that's a good bus, Legend. That's a good bus, Legend. That's got a piston. I'll do, I'll do an electric. I'll do an electric. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm dead! Okay, here comes an update on Hat Ventures. Ross, kick her off. Oh, guess what? We released like loads of Daisy and stuff, and there was like a load of episodes that went out, and you might not have seen them because subscriptions are fucked. And then uh, otherwise, <laughs> we lost a lot of footage, uh, killed a lot of people, and Smithy axed someone in the back, and it was hilarious. Oh, it was unreal. So it if was you haven't watched him, you should watch him. See that episode? Here. Yeah. Number eight. Number eight it was. Brutal also, we had success. Trials Evolution. We had a Hefter release, as we're calling it. I don't know who called it that, I but it's here. It was, it was me. And uh, a variety of episodes, if you miss them, they're also available on our YouTube channel. If you're on our YouTube yeah. channel already, there's a link in the description below Plugging. on the annotation on this page. <laughs> Minecraft on Xbox has been updated to 1.7.3. That has That's been updated. Yeah, and um, a, a quick story. We were going to do a video on it, but um, it does 1.7.3 have creative mode? Can you confirm that? No. Then we're not doing the video that I originally suggested <laughs> because I suggested to Trot yesterday. I said, "Oh, what a great idea! We'll um, recreate the first 1.7 video uh, in, in the Xbox." But then I realised that you have to make get every imagine crap how long it take to get all that redstone crap ton and of pistons. Red <laughs> We'd have to be playing it for hours and hours and hours, and quite frankly, that sounds very depressing. Out of the question. What else, Smith? We are working on the next Filthy Animals. Uh, because we had such a great reception last time and we had a lot of fun filming it, um, we have another episode coming up with some very special guests, uh, fingers crossed. We've been chatting to them recently and they've been really positive. So um, if you can work One out... One actually slagged you he off. He did. He, he really laid into me. Um, if you can work out who the special guests are, leave a comment below with who you think it is. Or, or tweet us at... Hat underscore films and say I know who it is and twats. Yeah, no, maybe not. Just, no, <laughs> don't, don't don't be don't be abusive. No. How do you type a bleep? Is it just a variety of symbols? Yeah, a variety of symbols. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, next thing. Origins Hat Ventures Origins. We've uh, released recently an artist audition video. If you haven't seen that, that is available. Uh, we got great responses so far on our voice auditions and the artist auditions one. So. Headlines? deadlines there isn't one yet and it's ongoing so even if you're auditioning for a voice now yes we will choose people to be characters for the episodes we're recording um but there's going to be way more characters coming in future episodes that we'll need different voices for we are so yeah. keep we're organizing in a way coming. we are organizing in a way that uh, allows for future um characters so we have like prospects and things like that so even if you feel that there aren't particularly any roles that you felt suited you well enough like just give us some stuff that you can do i mean quite a few people have sent us like portfolios of different things that they've done um so yeah sample reels yeah, exactly. of previous work uh, anything like that that'd be useful we don't have to stick to the scripts been... in fact we encourage you not to exactly yeah we yeah because they're all uh, they were type quite quickly to try and get some people some stuff to say uh we've had an awesome response with loads of really really impressive people um it's quite an overwhelming response and we're having to work through all of them manually ourselves between the three of us um so give us some time next yes Ross. there's more information on our website the next so go one there. is source filmmaker was released and uh i've had a little go on it uh, Trot's had a, a go on it, but what happened? I've had a hell of a time. What happened, Trot? Constant crashing. crashing. Doesn't load properly. I can't get into it. Do you think it, it just doesn't agree with um, Boot Camp? I have a feeling it doesn't agree with it. I don't think it likes the fact that I've put my whole Steam folder on an external drive, mate. Yeah, maybe. Probably that. And it's also called HAL, and I think it's trying to take over yeah. my life. I've actually had Is that a. Someone uh, keeps whispering to you at night. <laughs> Wake up. I'm afraid I can't I do that, Chris. I just need to sleep, please. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Chris. I can't um, do that. Well, I'll, I'll stop God. asking you to do it then. <laughs> put it away. Put it away, Chris. I had a good bash with it. I got about three and a half tutorials Oof. in. Not how. <laughs> Terrible choice of source worse. filmmaker. Uh, <laughs> it's very, very good. Um, it quickly becomes quite complicated. It starts very, very um, simple and 
gradually builds. But it's an awesome tool, and we're hoping to work more with it as soon as we're a bit Give more stable. Um, as soon as Hal lets me. Yeah. Uh, it gets on to me. Awesome fan animation of Hatch Out. What did you guys think? We've had an, an awesome response from it. This is the first day that it's been out, uh, this recording. It's, it's the, on. It's from the delightful Digi Finch. Yeah. Um, he basically was, made this yeah. and sent us the completed piece. It's like, check this out. And we thought it was so awesome was that like, yeah. we had to put it on our channel. Get so, it on the blower. And I, I think, said, "Hey, get, let's let's uh, hey, we, let's we don't use telephones. Let's, let's show <laughs> let's show the nation." And hey, if you're a, a budding animator and you feel like you want to do a clip of Hat Chat, you can send that to us too. Just yeah. tweet us at Hat Films with your link, yeah. and we'll look at it yeah. with our eyes <laughs> our and potentially eyes. our ears. I like the style also, of that one; it's really good. What else, Ross? What else? <laughs> Possible YouTube <laughs> issues with views. Um, I've I've seen other people complaining that uh, people haven't got. Uh, videos in their subscription boxes. Um, basically, it's always a problem. Isn't it? A way that we've done it uh, for you to avoid this uh, dreadful thing, missing our videos, go to our website and you can catch up with all of our videos that we've done in a weekly rundown. Um, Trot's done a delightful little graphic for it, haven't you, Trot? Yeah, so hopefully every week yeah. we'll um, just do a roundup post on our website of and embed every video that you may or may not have seen. So it's a good chance to catch yeah. up Sit down on Sunday and plow through them. If you're not get the plow out on hatventures.net yet, go over there, register. It's free, of course. Why would it? Why would we charge? <laughs> why would we and, charge? Uh, and just watch our videos and stuff. That's all. all and all get we integrated ask. with our community because there's a hell of a lot of awesome people there. But they're also and we've got an awesome on the website. Trot. What, what's happening on there? Stuff is happening in the background. It's not anything yeah. on the front end not yet, but we are much. we are looking to redesign the theme of the website and make it a bit more. A, user-friendly, and be a bit sleeker than what it currently is. Sleek. But that is it's an ongoing thing, and you may not see it for a little while yet. There's quite a few tweaks to be made. There are, there are yes. But bear in mind, there will be changes. Changes! And that's it. That is wrapping it up for the update on that Adventures. Oh, it was a delightful it. update. We hope you enjoyed oh. this uh, little... This is, uh, well, for you those of you listening to this uh, via our podcast service, uh, we hope you're enjoying listening. Uh, but to those of you that are watching this on YouTube, we hope you enjoy this new little segment we do for you. We've noticed that quite a few of our loyal Hatch Out listeners um, get all the inside info from this. Um, but we thought it'd be great to pass it out to you guys too. Um, and if you're not and listening hey, to Hatch Out, you should yeah. be because you get the inside information that we just he just mentioned. So. Yeah, This is only like 15 minutes of a potential whole hour mm. of episode and we've got like 19 episodes. So We're on involved. iTunes under H. Yeah, under H. Just search for Hatch Out on iTunes, <laughs> or there's links in the description of YouTube. So yeah, that's it. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. I broke the uh, golf golf caddy for the next section. Oh, um, how are we going to get? That it? was me. I fell through the roof. Well, no, Sorry. You, you heard you heard the cr- the epic crash, and uh, I guess we could ride this exhaust. I found an exhaust. Do you want to get on it like, ride a, like a magic carpet? No, it's a bit hot. No, I'm, not I'm gonna get that. on it. That's really hot. I'm on it. Oh. oh, oh! My hands are melting to it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my Let's go. God. Keep going. <laughs> this is disgusting. It burns. He's just running around with oh. melting hands. No, just. Oh, no. Oh, are we in the next section yet? What? I think so, mate. I think are you. You're... Are you just walking? Yeah, we can peel your hands yeah. off. Your hands are like cooked. Oh, hands, I mate. can't. They're, they're glued to it now. It's like oh, wow. like a fried egg glue. on a nonstick pan. It's like it's like it's like it's been welded there. So pretty much, it's cooling your whole down. I, I, my hands are going numb. It's fine. Your whole fashion sense right now is you got a Pringle tube attached to your face, and, and you got an exhaust. I'm attached riding to your it like hands. a like a broom, and you're riding yeah. an exhaust like a broom. Like a... Fantastic. That's Ross Hornby. I'm gonna go play some mechanical Quidditch. What games have we been playing recently, chaps? I'll tell you what game I've been playing recently. You remember that game in uh, Trials, that track that recreated Mirror's Edge? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that got me thinking that I played the demo of Mirror's Edge and I bought it on Steam because it went to like half price, which is amazing. Wow. And I got it. I think I've seen it for like £2 in CEX. How much did you pay, Trot? A lot more for Steam. It doesn't matter. Six fifty. At least I've got anti-aliasing. Am I right? Wow. (laughs) This is true. Are you? (laughs) Either way, I love Mirror's Edge. It's amazing. I'm really enjoying it. And I... I highly recommend it. Well, I've got about yeah. How um, old's the game now? Is half now? to two thirds of the way through it, and it gets incredibly samey um, and quite dull, so I quit. 
Mirror's Edge. Well, you're you're Height just a tedium bastard. For Smith. Uh, no, I mean, I've it's, not it's even, very I've not impressive. It. It's um, it's I don't know how old it is. I think it's about three years old. Um, 2008, I think. Um, but I think what pulls me in is like I do it in stages. So like I play it for a level or so and then go away and then come back and it's it's refreshing to come back to. I don't really like the combat in it at all. Okay. Um, is there I, anything you do like? I mean, uh, the graphics are very shiny and it's quite novel. Always a graphics, isn't it, with you? It's a novel it concept. A, it's a blood well. graphic whore. I like. I love the controls. The controls yeah, are the what control make systems it. are really nice. Would you say you were a graphic slut? Wow. It's like, <laughs> I'm not going to admit to any like of these tr- things. You were a graphic slut. Yeah, I think you're a graphic slut. Yeah. Well, you just can't get enough. You want to keep, get, get more and more. Well, I, I think it's like... Got a, Higher oh, alias. Put it all. Alias. Put it all. Yeah, Come on. I want it all. I think that it's... um. It's kind of part of the immersion, isn't it? Graphics. Dirty. These days. Dirty yeah. slap. Well, to a degree. To so quite a large degree, I think. I think sound no, I, and graphics. I, I, do, have... I do enjoy a good. A, a good um... Eiffel. Also, good sound. Eiffel. sound. Well, I, do, I enjoy a good Eiffel. <laughs> sound and graphics, I think, are two of the key immersion factors. Like, if you think about Battlefield 3, for example, versus Call of Duty, the sound design of Battlefield 3 is unbelievable. It is much better, actually. It is really, it's really good. Especially with our headsets, mate. Oh, yes. Talking All about right. the games that we're talking about. The reason we're talking about them now is because there was a hefty Steam sale, and it's probably still on now. Until, Summer sale. Until the 22nd, so if this isn't out by then, you know that something's gone wrong with Alice Mippy. What other games have I got from Steam which well, I probably should have Why are we bought? All talking about you? Well, what games did I get? Yeah, there is, I don't me. give there a, a shit. a big fat list of Trots games here. Yeah, right, Trots oh, you get. I bothered to write them down. Oh, I don't I need to write them down. People. Oh, go on then. Me? Surprise Am me. Am I going to surprise people? Well... Bought Dead Island, didn't I? Whoa! Woo! Whoa, I knew this already. £3.74, I think I got it for. What's or six pounds. Very cheap. I can't remember now. I can't remember now, and I think it was six pounds. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He was blind drunk at the time, that's why. Got Dead Space, Dead Space Crazy. 2. Crazy. Six pounds. And what uh, today, literally just before this podcast started, gra- all the Grand Theft Autos, <laughs> five pounds. He was very happy that's about That's just, this. I mean, that's less than a pound <laughs> each game. I mean, you don't, you won't get that in a in a flea market. If that's if they're in England, <laughs> or a boot car boot uh, sale, as you you might do in the in the. I think it's quite ones. a good time um, to say thank you very much for all the people that have been kind enough to send games and donate right, games, yeah, and give we, us yeah, games. We, um, some of the games uh, in the prizes today are donated by some delightful people, and we'll go we'll give them. I'm a go give them their, check them their, out. Their due credit when we do the prize section. Uh, what, so what, yeah, what games did you get? Uh, tr- oh, we've also got Left for Dead Two, haven't we, guys? You got that? Yeah, we've all got that now. We might do a little. Should we do a series? Let us know. We'll have, we'll, at, at least, dash films. At least play it. I think just we'll get we'll give a one a pilot if you will. Sure. Or if we really enjoy playing it, because that's not, that's nice to play games we enjoy. Charles. Oh, of course. Yeah. No, I feel like no, no. You, you're a terrible. Oh, person. another game. Uh, Amazing Alex. This is oh, like really? the, oh, I know I am. The, yeah. I was. No, I'm you're not. Really is that the one? No, different... Is that the one that was made by the same guys who made uh, Angry Birds? Angry Birds. Yeah. This is like yeah. their next franchise whatever i really don't think it's uh the next big thing but it's nice to sit on the toilet and uh sorry just, cut, just stop it the there it's nice to sit on the toilet thanks chris Charles. nice um, sure. <laughs> uh yeah it's it's like it's basically another physics game so they haven't really broken the mold so much do you know how i uh, read that sorry on this thing it says amazing alex i assumed that alex had written Amazing <laughs> Alex, and then he's talking about Rovio on iOS, whatever that is. <laughs> that's the that's the developer. Well, yeah, I know, but like, I wasn't completely sure, and I just thought, wow, he's just being an arrogant person, you know? Being a knob yeah, like just, normal. I'm going to name myself Amazing Alex, <laughs> and, then, and then I'm going to discuss this on the just iOS. Slip Brilliant. that one in there. He's got on a he's got a very American theme tune as well. Is it really like rock guitars and stuff? And does that offend um, you? Or? It, it offends me. Yeah, it offends offended. my personality. You, do, you sound you know. like angry, aggressive. You sound Good. pretty. Pretty annoying. I don't want to have to switch the silent uh, mute on when I'm sitting on the toilet. I mean, that's just right. I've also um, sorry. I, I'll go back to some. I've I went crazy on these sounds. I got Limbo, Mafia Two. Limbo's good. Uh, we got Portal Two, haven't we? Trot, that's, that's good. Yeah, we do. Do you, do you have Portal Two, Smith? Uh, yeah. Get it? Why not? I think I've got it. Nah, you should get it, mate. Yeah, you should oh, really no, I, get I play, it. I play, applied. I played it. I don't know. I've never enjoyed Portal that much. Ah, uh, Portal's great. Ah, oh, I love Portal. I don't think Smith likes good I games. I know I'm going to make a lot it's of right. enemies saying this. No, Mirror, right. Mirror's Edge was not considered a good game. It didn't get. It got mixed reviews. I think it got about a seven. I got, yeah, I think you're most wrong. Of review, most of the reviews I read for that game were pretty poor. Try. I mean, yeah. I don't. I've not played it myself. But that's, Shut that's your goddamn where, faces. That's where I'm kind of like. Well, yeah. I tell you what, what I got. 
I got get your own opinion. I played the games, games in the Steam sale, but I got a very good one called Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. I got given that uh, by uh, I think his name's Commando on uh, on uh, on Twitter. Um, Commando. But yeah, that's an amazing game. And Sins of the Solar Empire series is sounds a like such underrated. an obscure game. I've never heard of it. I know before, it's a hugely right? underrated. It's a real time st- oh. uh, space strategy. Very, very It's fun. like Good. almost like a Homeworld 2 homage. Almost, yeah, but not really the same because Homeworld 2 is much more like instant action RTS, whilst uh, Sins of a Solar Empire, you kind of have a little solar system to play with. Um, oh. And you like build buildings in it and stuff like that. It's it's really awesome. Homeworld 2, I want Homeworld 3 so bad. If it, like I've said it before. Is it coming? No. Is that happening? Well, no, what happened was that. Um, like what happened the was the guys that built Homeworld Two disbanded, and then the rights got bought off of them, and then I think that company went bust or something. So oh, I, it's something weird. Like basically, it turns out that like the chances of Homeworld Three ever being made are like pretty much Im- impossible. Um, Do you know what sucks? A franchise is coming back though. Oh, Carmageddon. Really? Oh, I thought I thought you were going to say Total Recall then. No, Carmageddon. But they are bringing that shit back. Carmageddon. Uh. They got their rights back from another... I can't remember who it was that took the rights, but the original developers of Carmageddon have got it back. And they ran a Kickstarter and they got the funding, so... Was it on Sega originally? It was Sega. on PC. PC? I had, and then it went on various consoles after that. Wow. But yeah. Hard, hardcore. Um, yeah, Carmageddon's coming back. Yeah. There's, oh, there's a new expansion pack for Mass Effect 3 out, I think it's today. Um, called Earth. It's free. Um, I've said this again on Twitter before. Earth. I'm I'm really, really, really impressed with Bioware and Mass Effect 3. Um, they're releasing all of their this new content completely free. And Mass Effect 3's multiplayer is surprisingly enjoyable. I never thought it'd be something that I'd like. Um, it's good, but I really wish there were different game modes. Yeah. Well, then Waves. Well, the multiplayer it's just all a Waves, tedious. isn't it? Yeah. Like you were talking about the Mirror's Edge thing being tedious. That, I found that it got a bit. Yeah, so well, there's that, some pretty interesting sense. new classes now. There, like there's ones with like whips, and there's ones with like cloaks and swords and things like that. Oh, um, so you should check it out again. Like one with whips. To update your game, you have to go to Origin and then just see what updated content there is and download it. <laughs> that's not how Benches Origin is. No, it's no, not. no, he's got it wrong. Uh, yeah. That's the title of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, digital distribution service. <laughs> guys, I also got a uh, New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas, uh, and I played Fallout God, That's 3. so old. Why did you buy that? Because it was it's not like that three old. pounds, I think. And I thought, well, oh, New Vegas not? 2. Mirror's Edge is older. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, Fallout New Vegas. Sorry, I thought you said yeah, Fallout Tom New Clancy's Vegas. Vegas. You know, the Rainbow Six Rainbow Vegas. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I haven't installed it yet. Or like, it's in my gift thingy because I'm not sure whether I want it. But I'm not sure whether it's worth playing. So... I mean, Fallout is Fallout's a very loved series, including Fallout yeah, 3 and know, New Vegas. Yeah. But I really hate the idea of being in a world which is really drab. Empty. <laughs> Depressing. Yeah, yeah. A lot apocalypse. of the, a lot of the games I've got recently that I, I enjoy are kind of very like post-apocalyptic style. I love post-apocalyptic or like scenarios, zombies or like you know even the palette, the color palettes like just browns and grays. Yeah, I remember just, Fallout Three was kind of a drab experience, and I also brings you down, didn't, man. Didn't do very well in terms of like I I never had a good gun, and I kind of just got downtrodden the that. problem i have with fallout and i played a good 15 hours of it was that i was a huge elder scrolls oblivion fan and fallout is literally or i know i'll probably get some rage of saying it but it literally is a skin of oblivion so like the interface system is the same the weapons are the same the engine is the same they've just changed all of the beauty and fantasy and wonder of oblivion for just this like trot says drab boring color palette and put guns that don't really work very well in it and it, it's just a bit i don't really like that engine either no it's like it makes all the the characters really stilted and whatnot it feels really dated well yeah we could ramble on yeah. negatively about the game for a long time but enjoy your game mate yeah have fun so i've just seen that you can change um in Skyrim, uh, the drog things to um, zombies from Minecraft. Oh, that's, that's a plugin. Called there you Minecraft go. Steam Revolution. Workshop. So Steam Workshop, go on that if you've got Skyrim. I only just literally just saw it. Uh, that is breaking news. I know that's well. It's again. not breaking news because it's probably been there a while. I've only I've only just. It's breaking news. It's Ross's breaking news. Whoa! What's that alarm? So it's time for random. <laughs> Oh, this is so random. This is really random that Smith uh, passed his driving test, didn't he? 
It's hey, a hard you need to know, but it's a massive achievement when you're 24 years old. <laughs> you uh, haven't driven yet, and now he has. So that's and you've nice. had a taxi driver for seven years. That was called Chris Trot. Chris I mean, Mr. Trot. Mr. Trot. Mr. Mr. Uh, I got overly excited when he passed his test. I had to tweet out first. Yeah. First, I, yeah, that, that happened. I was like, I was thinking, oh, I'll, I'll tweet. It. Oh no, I won't tweet it out. Like, best, best, let him have his have his own news. <laughs> Instantly, see Trot like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. congratulate, <laughs> congratulations. Um, uh, oh right, so he's no, he doesn't have to wait. That's like waiting for the birthday boy to say it's my birthday first. It's not though, is it? It's not birthday isn't a, like a, an achievement, is it? Is well, it is. Is. you haven't died yet it, well done it took so long to do it it's kind of not really an achievement it's more just like a no it's wow. more like a that took ages isn't it wow well done for catching up yeah. Yeah. pointing out pointing out how slow you I'm are. like the guy that at the end of the race in primary school like they're clapping at the end when like they've taken yeah, away yeah. like the measuring well done yeah. <laughs> still, no, oh, yeah. oh there was someone still running <laughs> oh we actually didn't die packing away cones yeah <laughs> I'm that guy yeah. and I don't think I should be clapped because I'd never clap that guy I'm a bastard. Or it gets to a degree where they pack the cones up and you're actually lost in the streets. You don't know yeah. where, you're, where you're going. Yeah, all oh, the parents have gone home. It's getting dark. A, we've got three races uh, and they're all lost because we packed up the cones too early. Oh, damn it. One of them's Alex Smith. <laughs> oh, here he is. Clap him anyway. Clap him anyway. <laughs> Somebody start No, he, react, he reacts to noises. Woo! Keep clapping. Oh, I've been lost for hours. Just bring him in. Bring him in. <laughs> oh, that's delightful. Let's, uh, let's uh, travel briskly. That's my word for now. Uh, to the funny... What, what do you mean for now? You're not going to come back and change it, are you? Yes, I will. For now, I will settle with briskly. I'm from the future. That word I'll again? Set- I'll settle with briskly. Okay, funny news. <laughs> this, whoa! <laughs> oh, we haven't done it yet. Okay, Ross. It's always misleading, isn't it, funny news? Um, I was hunting for some funny news. Uh, I wanted to get something kind of, you know, nice. Not disgusting like the last time, which was absolutely putrid, is the word I'm going to use. It was horrible. Fun- funny news was not funny last it week. It was putrid, like I said. It was, like how I much said. can you tolerate news? And I've kind of still got something disgusting. Right. And I've sunk as low as a cock gag. So right. that's where I've gone what's, with this. What's new? Uh, headline, what's new, exactly. Well, <laughs> cock and gag, probably the worst words to tie together. <laughs> um... <laughs> A, a penis game. joke is where I'm I'm altering that now. Uh okay, so the headline Man with world's largest willy in security scare at an airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, too big. <laughs> <laughs> There's a subtitle Guards feared bulge was biological threat. <laughs> so that's what's it gonna do? Well yeah, oh, well, yeah. it's gonna blow. Okay. Well you know oh, how particular they are at airports and you know you can't have you can't even take fruit abroad with you. I mean I, I tried to take three crates of apples. To a foreign country, and they stop me, search me, whip out the gloves. I had to, oh, that was horrible. Is that is that legit? No, not, why that would up? I take three crates? Oh, <laughs> oh, my, well, my apples. A, oh, my <laughs> apples. I need to take three crates of apples everywhere I go. <laughs> it's my thing. It's my trademark. I'm not going to sell them, honest. They call They're me not the apple go man. <laughs> They're not going to go bad on the journey. I love Colombian garlic apples. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right. uh, so yeah, a man who has the world's largest penis. So there we go. Instantly, it's the man with the world's largest penis. Was stopped by security at an airport after guards feared he had a suspect package hidden in his trousers. <laughs> yeah, the suspect. Um, which actually, that is kind of factual. It's a kind of a suspect <laughs> package. Um, well Jealousy, endowed Jonah Falcon, who's actually famous from this. He he actually does have the world's largest penis apparently. Uh, was stopped at San Francisco Congrats. International Airport uh, by eagle-eyed officials. Wait until I tell you how big it is, Charles. Seriously, it's ridiculous. Uh, from the US why, Transportation Why are you directing security. that right at me? <laughs> because you try, you're like, this is the type of thing. I know you're into. You cannot wait. I know you're into large penises, cake farts. I know what you love. Uh, <laughs> you, you're he the was cake extensively frisked champ. and had white powder sprinkled on his pants to check for traces of explosives after a very noticeable bulge. They just clothing, want to touch him up. In his clothing, which was in, interpreted as a potential biological threat. Mr. Falcon <laughs> had previously featured in a HBO documentary about the size of his manhood, which measures nine inches limp. Whoa. <laughs> oh <my laughs> What's his 13, name? His name is Jonah Falcon. Uh, and th- oh, I hear typing. I hear <laughs> I'm typing. And 13.5 inches when aroused. Does he pass out when he... You know, well, that's a lot of blood. Yeah, it doesn't go into that much detail. Come on, it's not about porn. Well, it's an it's HBO documentary. Porno. I mean, there should be more facts, surely. Nothing too filthy. Why didn't you here? research? I know, I know, it. this is a story about a penis, but it's nothing filthy, Trot. Come on. Well, it's uh, just a. Ju- so he said, not- "I have my stuff strapped to my left, <laughs> to my left, 
I wasn't erect at the time. Now that's filthy. So apologies, Charlton. Now it's, tur- it's turning blue. Why are you t- again? One of the guards asked if my pockets were empty, and I said yes. I said it's my dick. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me a pat down, but made sure to go around my penis with his hands. Uh, they even put some powder on my pants, probably for tests for explosives. <laughs> I found it amusing. Well, at least someone did. Eh? Uh, Mr. Falcon, who was also led through an X-ray body scanner and passed a metal detector, added, another guard stopped me and asked if I had some sort of growth. Oh, my God. <laughs> the traveller aroused suspicions at San Francisco Airport on his way to New York. He said, I'm just going to wear bike shorts from now on. <laughs> Can you just imagine how Sorry. that scenario plays out? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to wear bike shorts from now on, so it's really obvious. <laughs> yeah. Well, that way they'll know. So yeah, you, you'd think you think they would have had experience with hung guys before, but I guess not. Uh, Mr. Falcon Excuse became me, sir. A- could you uh, step to one side, please? I think your your package is a biological <laughs> yeah. hazard. I'm going to need to take a closer uh, look what? at that. Sorry, what? No, I'm going to have to put some powder this on is, this. This can't be protocol. What? This can't be protocol. You put that away. You sod. <laughs> what are you going to do with that baton? <laughs> um, Mr. Falcon became okay. a minor celebrity in the US in 99 due to the size of his willy after being profiled in Rolling Stone magazine and appearing on HBO. Sums How it up, they profile it? I mean, it, like, <laughs> But how? he later struggled to find work after a brief spell as a computer games reviewer. Well, that doesn't sound good. Does it? uh, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't that sum up social media, you though? He's it. got a big cock. He's now a superstar. Yeah. Oh, no, you should see a picture of his face. I, you can see why he's... Yeah, well, you can you can see a library interview with him in the video player below. Apparently, on this website, it's, it's just the sun. You know, we don't have this. Typical. No, There's you don't have this. Don't, it, wor- don't worry about the video. Hatchet. Don't worry about the video. He's got a big one, and that's. Right, I think we talked know. about this guy's penis for too long. Yeah, yeah. we always get locked onto these <laughs> things. <laughs> given given Chuck too much, too much to think about tonight. Um, <laughs> oh, move God, on to the next directing one. Directing so much at me. <laughs> well, what is I'm, this? I'm just saying, you, I've given you 13.5 inches to think about tonight, and that's not that's you know too much already. This is really horrible. Next. Next. <laughs> you can't just. Just do... next. All right. Here's my headline. Next. Rock fan Teresa in danger of biting off more than she can chew. All right. All right. Sorry, I don't know. Okay. Is that the end? Does that have you got any sort of hint as to what that might be? Rock, uh, rock is in the. No, no. Hang on. Rock oh, is bat, in the bat. the snack. Rock is in actual rocks. Right. Okay. No, that's. Weird. When we're feeling a bit down in the dumps, most of us will turn to chocolate to lift our spirits. But Teresa Widener. Her name is Teresa Widener. Widener? Only Widener. reaches for one thing. Rocks. Widener. She eats rocks. There's a picture of her with a hammer and a pile stones? of rocks. And she's smiling like a bloody axe murderer. She eats rocks in her spare time. She's oh like God, Onyx. I need to find the pic. <laughs> she's Onyx. She wants to be Onyx. The 45 oh, year she's, been... she's just so... She's happy. She's happy in the yeah. picture. Yeah, look how happy she is with that hammer. I'd be uh, very depressed if I was eating rocks. Um, either way, the 45-year-old has been nibbling on pebbles and stones for the past 20 years. She still has teeth. Time, Sorry, uh, she has teeth. Stop in interrupting picture. my story. She still has teeth, that's true. She she might have had them plated. Oh, the steel. Reinforced. I need, uh, I need some teeth that protect me from eating rocks. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, uh, dentist, do you specialise in mini pickaxes for my mouth? I'm trying to eat loads of rocks. No, but we could recommend you these tiny men <laughs> no, that yeah. also perform on WASD keys. Yeah. They, might, they might, might be persuaded to wield a pig. I don't know. We haven't asked them. We haven't asked them. Uh, brush with Colgate. But get this. This is another fact from this lady. She has consumed more than 1,360 kilograms, which is 215 stone, which is the average weight oh, of a humpback whale God, of rocks. The fact that they could wait, oh, the fact that they compared it to a humpback whale. Like, humpback that instantly... whale. She's eating that much. I mean, rock. Two, 215 stone sounds a lot, but when you say it, it's a humpback. Whale. I wonder what her favourite is. Is it sedimentary? Is it, you know, oh, flint? I don't know. I don't know the what's, the, what's your favourite rock? My favourite. Well, I actually like the um, kind of the soft clay. If you could, if it's, is that so? A rock? You like is clay? That That's not. Rock, yeah, is he's it? a so, he's, He likes a bit like sort of doughy, um, doughy mud. What are the white? What are the white cliffs of Dover made from? Because I think that's going to be a softer rock. There, there was, <laughs> there was <laughs> crashing down on people up chalk. there. Chalk based stuff. Chalk? Uh, is chalk a kind of rock? Yeah. I think, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chalk, What's a, a mineral I'm going to have chalk. So I, it's I'm, a mineral, I'm, I'm yes, going to go big or go mineral. home. I'm going granite. Granite. <laughs> oh I'm going God. marble. <laughs> Screw this. I don't want I don't want teeth or insides anymore. I, want, I like I the process marble. stuff. I like concrete. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, that's, like that. <laughs> that's like the uh, the equivalent of special brew. 
<laughs> but, <laughs> it's really scabby. But in terms of concrete. Uh, it's like spam, isn't it? Or, you know, the processed meat which is shaped into a bear's face or something. <laughs> I want to eat the bear's face, mummy. No. Right. But yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, it's, it's her ultimate comfort food. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, wow. I, good luck to her. I'm going nice. to modify my news story slightly so it's a bit more of a surprise. You're gonna uh, make, you're, he's going to make some fiction. So No, I'm not going to add fiction. I'm just going to take a few words out. Members of the <laughs> members of the Cheshire Police Force were on the receiving end of a shocking surprise uh, when they were confronted by having a bath on a recent cannabis raid. What? That's, what I, 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 I omitted some words. So members of the Cheshire Police Force were on the receiving end of a shocking surprise when they were confronted by missing words, two missing words, and missing it- words, uh, having a bath on a recent cannabis raid. Right, so okay. the way you've worded that yeah. makes me think of there's the whole police the police uh, department busted through the in door. a bath in a bathtub no. with a ducky yeah. <laughs> rubbing each they've burst into a house around. there's a cannabis raid going oh, in Cheshire okay. right? right they've yeah, burst into a house and they've been image. surprised oh oh what's that having a bath uh-huh. right what is it having a bath a giant cannabis plant which has gone sentient. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, is that I'm one just of those chilling. like sunflowers that plays a guitar with the shades hey, on? Hey guys, the fumes caused the Cheshire police to be extremely inebriated. <laughs> um, no, tell us what it is, mate. Don't just you're keeping us in suspense, and it kills me. Was it the, the start eating rocks in the bath or chalk off their faces? From the outside, it looked just like a normal suburban semi. But when, the, but when the, <laughs> but when the police raided, I'm thinking the th- back to Ross's story. But when now. the yeah, police, say, <laughs> but when the police raided the three-bedroom family home, they weren't expecting to find something altogether deadly lurking in the bathroom. A sentient cannabis plant, <laughs> oversized. A two-point uh, meter, eight two point foot, meter. eight foot penis. <laughs> eight foot. <right. laughs> oh, Falcon, what are you doing there, mate? This is in Cheshire. Eight foot alligator splashed around in the bath. He's a biological hazard. It <laughs> featured in an HBO documentary. <laughs> it's Jonah. What are you doing in there, Jonah? Oh, oh that's dull. Oh, get that. He's got a snake on him. Get the powder out. He's been <laughs> bitten. I've got to pat this down. You totally stole my thunder. By a snake. Why are you stealing my thunder? Continue. Sorry. Continue with the two point four <laughs> meter thing. I said it. I what said it. it. You both missed it. Oh, oh, you cut it out now, and now you can put it oh, here. A 2.4 meter alligator splashing around in the bath in what was greeted oh, officers Christ. acting on a tub. This is in Cheshire. There's an eight foot alligator in the How bath. How big is their tub? <laughs> they, come, they must have a massive tub. I can't fit in a, in a conventional tub. You're not. I'm six, I'm six foot three. Eight was foot. It must have been tubs. hanging out. <laughs> God, what a horrific. They also found poisonous king cobras, three monocled cobras, and a rattlesnake <laughs> on a oh, series oh, of God. raids on a shop oh, property nearby. Uh yeah, so basically somebody had a like a, a cannabis growing plantation, but they didn't what with a what, pet alligator. Yeah, what happened to the conventional just dog food? How the hell do you get an alligator up to eight foot in a house in oh, Cheshire? I'm... You put it in someone's pants. This is semi detached. Like Jonah. This is semi detached. You can just yeah. Well, you can just imagine down the pet shop. Wow, well, look, I've I've got a few things I need to protect. I need some very exotic animals that are going to well, protect all out of my dogs, investment. So. We, we, oh, oh the dogs. Yeah, there aren't any. Cut dogs. At the back. I've got a bathtub. And, What's uh, in that cage splash- there? Oh, oh, this one. Oh, this is the illegal animal section. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have oh, I'll have anything I'll in have... the illegal section. <laughs> have, I, I, need, I need you to get rid of them. Pick and so mix. Can... Oh, is that... I'll, I'll have a pick and mix. Please. Is that a goblin? <laughs> okay, cool. a giant paper that? bag. <laughs> this is a mythical creature. This is a mogwai. <laughs> oh, you yeah, know, I'm keeping that one. Yeah, definitely. I don't oh, want to feed bastard. it after midnight. <laughs> No, that's oh, I've seen, I've seen the film. <laughs> Surely everything is after midnight. What was the resolution? What was the re- resolution with the animals? What did they yeah, what do they do with the alligator? They put them all they in a chlorine swimming pool. What? what? So they no, just wait, whacked no, it in golden stones or something. Not in a chlorine. What, what, why is that a thing? I don't know. How do they get rid of all the gremlins? Oh well, they, yeah, no, that was the gremlins, but not not the exotic animals. I mean, surely they thrive. You know the, in the, the legitimate story. The actual yeah, the legitimate alligator. story. Go go back to it. Back to reality. Don't make me read it. Whoop, there goes gravity. I feel like he must have... Is he dead? Is he, do you see that? Is he taken by an alligator? Is the sentient cannabis plant going? Hi. Oh, God. 
He's come Sorry, back with guys, the story. I was just wrestling with the alligator. Um, oh, that's where you right? went, right? Of course. Yeah. He, 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 so that's where he is he now. Got out. Sorry. Uh, where were we? Alligator. What happened to him? Oh. Apart from him ending up. Oh, in your they room. just they just like wildlife people came and took him away. He's probably somewhere uh, altogether more yeah. sensible now. Probably not. It's England. Ah, uh, but. He, it's a little it was on I, preferred, I preferred the mug. Okay, right. Now, they put so. him in a massive slingshot and fired him over to France. Oh God! I mean, that's. I was hoping like there was going to be some sort of. He was put in rehab because he's on a heavy <laughs> cannabis, cannabis diet. addiction. <laughs> oh God! He eats. He eats all the cannabis. He's very <laughs> great. No, this, this isn't for sale. This, that, that cannabis. <laughs> that alligator in there is a very angry man, and he needs. He needs his drugs. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're coming down quickly. Throw oh, some God. drugs in there. He's hallucinating again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. That was good. The good news, the alligator's great. vegetarian. The bad news is he's a drug addict. He's a, <laughs> he's a drug addict on illegal vegetables. <laughs> Damn it. Well, those were hilarious news stories on a scale of one to absolutely fucking funny. It's well up there. Broke my scales. There isn't even, there isn't, there isn't even a middle ground. There's, there's, um, no. Straight, there's, straight there's up no to scales, the top. Like, I don't know what no scales need. we were using. Did, did, scales are broken. They were scales broken. Yeah, yeah. Turns out while we were doing the, the funny news, someone burnt our golf cart out. Why'd they burn it out? Oh, they, cooked, they, they, they put a grill over it and turned it into an oven. I mean, a, a little, uh, you know what you were saying about that shopping trolley that time? Yeah, that no. Side? The shopping trolleys are great to cook things on. Barbecue grill, yeah. yeah. I Ross, can see Ross that. Are, you a, are you a YouTube hobo? I went to a festival recently and uh, a friend of mine was um, cooking uh, hot dogs on a small stove in the can, as you do. Uh, anyway, we coined the term a doctor's breakfast, and it contains uh, a few things. Uh, the the hot dogs are one of them. Uh, and then you move briskly on. I'm going to use briskly again. I've used it again. Yeah, I've we've only got a couple of uses. Of these things. I've only got a couple <laughs> left. It's counting down. Uh, oh, what was the second thing? Oh, crap. The briskly thing really threw me off then. Um, doctor's hot anyway, dogs. Hot dogs, uh, which... I found cannabis. It. No, there wasn't. No, none of that. Meth. Um, Crystal no meth. meth. Didn't cook meth on. Well, it. this is all based on whether you've got a, a drug addicted alligator with you. What has this got to do with shopping? Cart, I have no idea. I have no idea. That reminded me because it was it was carts. like watching that because then he ate crushed biscuits with it. Um, he also boiled soup on there as well. Of course, why wouldn't you? So why did you call it a doctor's breakfast? Oh, because the guy was uh, studying for a PhD. So, it, <laughs> so it, it it was all rounded off uh, with some crushed biscuits and some broken cereal bars. So I found that was a delightful meal, and I, I'm pretty sure you'll find it in restaurants pretty soon. That Doctor's g- breakfast. That, coined... Jonah, that Jonah guy. I really don't think it will. Jonah Falcon had a PhD, didn't he? He sure did. And I could tell you the measurements again, but you you know that it was 13.5 inches. Right. <laughs> oh, what were the prizes? God, completely forgot. List Great off. prizes for uh, this this week, this this episode. I'm not gonna say week. It is. Wow, there's there's three. Week. Is there three? Three prizes for the for the uh, the main guy, the top man, the the the, uh, the what's it called? Uh, executive, executive producer. producer. Wow. Of course. Wow. wow. Jesus. I blacked out there, guys. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> was like crystal <laughs> meth, mate. He's eating your brain. I've, I I I ate a doctor's breakfast this morning. And it's it's messed me up. Um. So I would say the prizes are as following. Dungeon Defenders, which we've been playing recently, which is a great game, oh, that's great fun. fun. Works PC and Mac, so that's on there. Uh, Limbo, which is also a great game. I haven't played it. Trolls is like Limbo is awesome. It's like a basically a two D side scrolling game, and it's really awesome, like black and white stylistic. And it's basically you surviving. Awesome. In, yeah, awesome uh, of course. And the, the big and the big one. No, well, well limbo. on a Limbo, it's the, well, like how Ross said, the Dungeon Defenders plays on PC, P, PC and Mac. Limbo is like playing on PCP or crack. Ah, oh, brilliant, brilliant rhyming. Yeah, yeah there we go. Drug, drug, right, on drug. to. I thought you were going to say something. Well, no, the, the biggest prize on that as well. Uh, we've been playing Daisy lately, lately, and the delightful 2K10 has donated the Armor 2 combined operations game, which you need to play the Daisy mod. Uh, I'm sure Armor 2 is a great game to play on its own. I haven't played it on its own because Daisy was too good, and I went straight to it, and I'm pretty sure. Ninety percent of people who bought the game probably went straight to Daisy. <laughs> so recommendation that's, that's Rocket. That, Thanks, Rocket. For people that do do that, so whoever wins this, mm-hmm. promise us one thing: there's tutorials 
and they are extremely useful to getting to grips with the Armour 2 control system, which is confusing, mm, let's be honest, true. and the inventory. So there are tutorials for Armour 2, which is exactly the same as DayZ. So. Yeah, exactly. Why not? Promise us you'll go through the tutorials plocks. Someone tell us what the Top Hatter gets. Uh, the top they're going to get a prize now. Well, they get the Bandcamp music code to That's what they download always get. They always get that of standard. their choice. Uh, the, uh, always. The exec producer. Does he get a Bandcamp code as well? Uh yes, the exec producer Why not? also gets that. Of course, they do. How about like confetti? We get we've got thousands of the bloody things. There are too many of them. Um, They're littering. Everywhere. They also get a game which I'm I'm going to go ahead and defend. It's called Dear Esther, and um, I I bought this because I thought it'd be a funny one. I thought it'd be kind of a, a gag. Ross thought it looks awful. The... <laughs> well, Ross comes from the uh, like, guys, Call of Duty. Dear culture. Esther, <laughs> what's Dear Esther? That's I'm going to buy Dear Esther for. I mean, I'm fairly sure it's, it's a good, point so and that's... click. <laughs> So it's like a mystery good. novel. Apparently, the visuals are very, very, very good. Um, I've read a lot. That's important to me. I've read a lot of good things about it. Uh, I don't know very much about it, but um, Ross hates it. I don't hate it. I don't uh, know it. I don't know it to hate it. But, but I, 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 yeah, like I did put lol against the title. You don't trust things you don't know. That's that's Dear you're like you're Esther. like a you're like a dog that's been abused. Like yeah, just a dog. <laughs> that's probably not the best analogy to use. Well, I guess well, I'll be honest. They they probably don't trust people with it. He's suggesting that he's been through rough times. <laughs> I haven't been through rough times. I just don't know the game. Were you abused by your previous owner, Ross? By, my, by the previous game I played, I was abused by that game. <laughs> and now I don't trust any game the again. On the side of the road. Either way, a game has three... to nurture me and love me. <laughs> Those three games are completely different games, so you're gonna love one of three at yeah, least. Exactly. I mean, Armor Two Combined Operations. You get to play DayZ, and if you don't want DayZ, is we've got a bloody series. Go watch that. Yeah. Limbo is an awesome game, and it's good to like jump in and out of. It's really good. And Dungeon Defenders fucking great right expensive language made, sorry made it better somehow I cha- and you get I a challenge people bank camp to, code um, I challenge no, well that's that's for executive producer and then we were just talking about Top Hatter a second ago but um, Trot likes to chuck the old confusion stick in there sometimes yeah. um, oh there it goes I, I challenge <laughs> you <laughs> oh, 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 what's going on I cha- oh, what's happening I challenge you guys to watch an episode of DayZ and not want to instantly play it like whenever we watch our episodes back um because we like we're like, not laughing suggesting at because our personalities are so good yeah well like, oh my we're god that was funny no it's just that it's it's very watchable i think yeah and like it's like oh wow i want to play this it's like minecraft in a sense um but yeah should we move on to the Enjoy oh you've, you're gonna briefly explain how they do that again well if you want to do that if you want to be top hatter which is just donate anything you'll be hopefully randomly selected or if you're top contributor between now and next hat chat if you go to hatventures.net look for media click on that go to hat chat on the right hand side there's a donate button an orange one you won't miss it click on that donate what you like and make sure you put in a shout out which is when you go to the paypal section you can add a, a message and that's where you put your shout out thank you and good luck Challenge, Challenge section. Sorry. That was in sync. <laughs> Did you pass out? That was out? really bizarre. Fucking hell. Um, so, Challenge section, yeah. Should I read it out? Uh, what does it say? Let's see. Um, I've got this idea from the show. Whose line is it anyway? Great show. And I think it would work well for Hat Chat. The idea is that you pick a subject for a song, i.e., Wall ride, beards, fire, stereoscopic dolphin porn, or something like that. Uh, and then you all have to sing it one word at a time. None of those were songs, I'll point out. Uh, no, they're themes for a song. Themes for a song, of course. Of course. Uh, one word at a time, in turns. For instance, Trot would say a word, then Ross, then Smith, and yeah, okay. Yeah. So we'll Thanks think for of Wolf, like a tune. Thanks, that's from Wolfgang. Amade- Amadeus. Wolfgang. Wow. Amadeus. Yeah, Amadeus himself. Thanks. I bet he's never wow. that before. <clears throat> right. I feel... A lot of pressure to do a good musical now. Okay, well let's get a little like. I don't know how this. Let's get a let's get a tune. tune yeah. Uh, you've got to get yourself ding, together. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I've then got the Trotamus so Ross. It's one word. One word each. Nah, I like phrases. Oh, one word is you shit. can't do phrases. Uh, that's what makes it. That's the challenge, isn't it? I guess. Yeah, it's one, one word. Okay, I've. God. No, what's our theme? We haven't got a theme, guys. We can't you. start. Oh, so abusing you. Right. you. Wait, that Fantastic. can't work because that's too easy. Because I, I can't abuse myself. That's not. In that's the song. not even a challenge. Of course, you're going to abuse yourself. <laughs> I hate myself. You do it every night. <laughs> hey, hey. I bleed. Anyway, uh, bashing what, what objects. Theme? Not cool. Let's think of a theme. 
pick a theme. <clears throat> uh, wow. Oversized penises. No, don't. We can't keep doing rock that. eating. Too much cock in this episode. Um, I love. Eat, we all love eating rock. Yeah, I like Why that. Why we love yeah. eating yeah. rock? Let's go. Okay. Ding 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 ding. Bit of Skype lag. Ding 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 ding. I. <laughs> who's doing? Who's so, starting? So right. Who, whose line the, is it anyway? Whose line Alex, is it anyway? There Alex we go. Ross, Ending on me. the. <laughs> Sorry, Alex Ross. Okay, let's me. get okay. back into the groove. I got rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Smith. On my tabletop. <laughs> <laughs> I've got splinters <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> I have horrible splinters <laughs> over hammering. I can't remember the melody. I can't remember the melody either. Dun, you were building dun, up to the top bit. What can make me feel this way? No, sorry, okay, sorry. Rocks. <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Eating those rocks. My it- rocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to say we failed that challenge, but I think it's still should funny. We do, should we do it again with phrases? See, phrases oh. are better. I told you this. Phrases. Well, well, let's crack. Let's crack a lack. Dun 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 dun. I've got rocks <laughs> in my underwear. <laughs> dun 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 dun. It's chafing. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun, my pubic hair. Dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun dun. I want to get them out, but I can't stop making out rocks. (laughs) (laughs) Talking about rocks. Our rocks. Ah, rocks. <laughs> What's the next I bit? fucking love What's rocks. What's the next There's loads more. Um, There's loads more? Yeah. I can't come up with more. We need to know a song where we know the whole melody. Uh, I had a really good line, a really good rhyme, where, uh, like you said, um, I've got pants and I can't get them out, and it's like, now I'm sweating. Uh, I can't get them out. <laughs> These I'm sweating rocks and, and my sweat has turned into grout. <laughs> my crack. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't, I, uh, that's yeah. I think that's. The, we'll leave that there. <laughs> that hey, Wolfgang good. Amadeus, is that going to be the next composed piece? Yeah, is let that, us know. <laughs> let, us, let us know. Hat chat at hat-films dot com. Brilliant. Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll swiftly move to the question questions. Section. Which you know, when uh, I whipped in with a confusion stick, yeah. yeah. That was when I was pasting these questions in I rapidly. Okay. So you didn't really look at Because we them. didn't set that up, so I set them up. Here we ah, go. Ah, okay, right. Here's some questions. Number one, why do you censor your videos if the discussion is more inappropriate than the cuss words? I'd like to answer this one in the sense that we sense them because it does sound funny, but we also learned fairly recently that we do have a very young audience uh, that listens to our stuff, and it's kind of like, we, like it doesn't hurt anyone to put them in there. Uh, but yeah, the discussion is more inappropriate. Yes, that is that is true. Agreed. Uh, and well, that being like said, think, I, but, th- I so think like, that a lot of people think a discussion that is inappropriate that we have are things about like, you know, I don't even like talking about it, but the stuff that we get into is actually just actually scientific, so to speak, or social. Like, well, uh, no, you say that, but it's, it's like it's, it's like when you hear like an adult, <clears throat> adult joke in Shrek or something. The kids yeah. aren't going to know what that means because it's too... It's too either intelligent or too far, like... It, yeah, it harkens beyond me back their understanding. to... There's an image um, that's, like, for scientific purposes, which is just a, a collage, um, and to under, uh, say, the age of 13, so prepubescent, all they see is dolphins. 
but to everyone else it's like various pictures of naked women yeah. and men having sex and I, I think that's the bridge is our content when we talk about topics we're usually talking about topical things and also quite we're not actually like hitting the nail on the head someone like Gary you're, Glitter you're, well, molest like, children we yeah. say oh Gary Glitter you well, like, um, <laughs> if you don't really know what Gary Glitter is this comment it, came from a trials episode because I was making a joke about um, like public toilets <laughs> But I said bashing off or something. Um, in public toilets. We, fleet, we had, fleet around I didn't say the in controversial toilets, topic. Yeah. yeah, we fleet around the actual what the topic's actually about. <laughs> dance, by, ballet. We, d- ballet we dance around it. around it, therefore we don't actually say what it is. Hopefully, we probably have. Just a bit of in- but innuendo, isn't it? Bit of innuendo. At the same time, we in don't your have... Endo. Um, we don't have, you know, quality control checks uh, apart from ourselves yeah. and things. We do mess up edits because there's only three of us. <laughs> we do question but, whether, like, oh, should should we keep this in? And we're kind of like, uh, maybe. Like the, uh, the word slut. I wanted to name one of the episodes with the word slut in it. And, and then we were kind of thinking at the that implications. Said, no, that's not. Like, oh, is okay. that offensive? Uh, but yeah, we we have that our own moral thing and that <laughs> yeah. occasion very breaks. loose and often misguided moral but then compass. again if you look at other internet, youtubers i think you'll find there's some they're a lot worse they break the boundaries much worse than we do so there's freedom of speech on the internet and we yeah. try to appeal to a wide audience but sometimes we can't so that's that do any of you play the ukulele uh yeah oh took him a while so yeah, yeah that's an answer yeah I don't. No other I background. Really tried. I play I well. When you say play, I mean I know about eight chords on a ukulele. I'm, Is it just like a guitar with less strings? Y- well, to an extent, the chords are a lot more different. They tend to have less fingers involved. Um, so less strings. But I mean, like of, I think I learned a lot of questions to get through. I feel like yeah, you're just really yeah, dragging that out. Yeah. Apple plays, or PC. He plays Apple or PC. Well, I've got an Apple. Apple. Uh, PC for gaming. Apple for uh, production. Cool. Yeah, yeah, same. It's a given. yeah, so PC same. for recording Do... content, Apple's for <clears throat> editing. Content. Shut your goddamn mouth. Do people ever play, ever message you on Steam while you're recording? Yes. 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 It's really annoying. Happens a lot. It's... I was being well, quite courteous by accepting everybody just because like, well, there's no need to just. I like to people. accept everyone. Uh, and I will then, talk to you. Yeah, some but... people will talk and you need to remember to go offline. Even always our close makes... friends do it. Like, you, yeah, it's yeah. hard, but like. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite annoying. Because it's hard because those it's, systems are designed so that if somebody's in-game and you can talk to them and go, hey, I'll jump in the game with you. But if you're recording something, that's exactly what you don't want to happen. Um, or if yeah. it's like, hey, are you recording? It's like, oh, good. Yeah, yeah I am. It's usually, I mean, if we're appearing online and our status is online, it's kind of our fault. We just mm. forget to change mm-hmm. it to offline. So I'm sorry if we don't respond. It's because we're usually doing something. Uh, okay, that was those were all from Noah C. Jones. So thank you for Thanks. those questions. Thanks, Next, Batch. Be quick. Who was your favourite YouTuber besides you guys? He says Trotimus at the end of it, so I'm guessing tr- he assumed you're going to say us. Oh right. What? Besides well, you guys, Trotimus. <laughs> oh right. So I'm not allowed to answer. Well, no, because he thinks you're going to say us. Go, everybody, go. Oh. Quick fire. <laughs> Quick fire. Uh, I like Freddie W. To be honest, I like what they make. Um. Julian shit. Smith, shit. I've yeah, Julian I've Smith. Two of them now. I've given you one. Uh, yeah, you I always say this, but I like the guy from Epic Meal Time because he seems like he's much more intelligent than he comes across. Recently, uh, yeah, yeah, he's actually really good. Agreed. PewDiePie. Uh, yeah, like he some is of his funny montages as well. recently. It's his, really good. His yeah. edits are really good. What annoys you the most? <sighs> wow, Chris Tran annoys me a lot, but I'm not sure if that's the most. Well, that's um, what based on like in what context? There are lots of things that annoy me. Any, yeah, any right. context. What's your um, most when you oh, get um, into a car and the seatbelt is twisted, like, and it's not, <laughs> then it's twisted be- beyond the buckle at the top, so you can't untwist it. That annoys me a lot. It's because right. he's a driver now. I, a I'm actually going to say, um, really poor, like, extremely poor grammar in like just comments and stuff where you can barely read, understand what it says. <laughs> Yeah. That's or like or even <laughs> lack in of like, proofreading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lack of proofreading. Even in like messages, like or emails sent, like that. that that's kind of like, well, I'm not reading. It. Or when you go into a public toilet and a person's absolutely ruined it, and then they just pile tissue on the top and just go, yeah, that's probably fine, and just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the flush isn't working. I'll just pile loads of tissue in it, so it makes it better. <laughs> that sucks. I'll tell you what annoys me the most. Very, uh, uh the loud sound of eating, chewing. Uh, anything that rattles around in someone's mouth. It's a disease, like. apparently, isn't it? <laughs> it's not a disease. <laughs> it's not a disease. Trot said it was a disease. He's... It's not a disease. I feel like it's just it. an excuse to be able to openly nag at people. <laughs> uh, this is why I can't explain 
<laughs> that my annoyance for small uh, human-made noises like eating and chewing. Because these guys just take the piss. It's bizarre because he loves glitch if you music. Wanna, and it's if kind you of wanna, like I could repeat glitch music in my music mouth. Music is completely different from human <laughs> if, if you heard, if you, if you found out that BT made all those noises with his mouth, would it suddenly make a completely it's different... It's processed. No, no, processed yeah, no, 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 no forget that. Forget that. If he turned around and said, oh, I actually make a lot of those noises with my mouth. Would it suddenly... You listen to a song and you're like, fuck, I can't listen to this. I can't no, listen to it because it's, it's someone's mouth. No, that's not how it works. No, there are specific guides. See, look, he's shouting me down for something he doesn't understand. It's hilarious. What trailer did you enjoy the, making the most? Um, um, 1.7 one was really good, though. I love the 1.7. 1.7. Uh, like, the thing is, though, what you think... I didn't enjoy yeah, making, making it. Was a bitch. I like, did. I, I enjoyed making the 1.7 sign at the end because it was like I was learning. Yeah, like the true. At the same but time. we were cramming to get it released the next day. I think the and look I and remember, the response. I remember seeing, yeah, mm. yeah, the response was awesome. But I think uh, making the Minecraft and Xbox trailer was quite enjoyable because we literally like played oh, the game yeah. for quite a lot of the time, didn't we? I enjoyed the 1.2 trailer where we did the whole adventure going into the caves, mm. making more of a oh, cinematic well, waiting of it. for it to stop raining. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And wait, oh, God. There's always bad points to making trailers because we don't have any control. They're always consistently always... great when you when we put them out there. Once we put them out, we're always like, it's so great to have one out and watch all the response. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't... Oh, skip the next one. Uh, for Alex Smith, do you like TNT or Flintstone or more? Kind of a... uh, TNT because I think it's like the most visually impactful fine for Chris Trot is Warus your favourite animal definitely no, read not it. No, Trot, read the name again for Chrissy Trot <laughs> there you go yeah <laughs> no, that the, was it is a Warus you favourite animal that's kind of annoys me a little bit uh, apologies <laughs> that, Apolo- that's apologies grammar. squidly links but wings oh that's a weird much. thing to have Ross grammar yeah an Annoys. annoyance for grammar oh you're weird uh, oh, I'm a grammar Warus. Nazi Warus is not my favourite animal. I thought it was a bloody funny skin with a doctor's coat when I chose Minecraft. It's very much not my favourite animal. What is your favourite animal? Sorry. It is now. I'm stuck with it. I don't know. It changes. I like a lot of animals. Red panda right now. Okay. We sp- Ross. I answered this last For time. Ross home. Homb. I'm going to say homb. Or <laughs> how do you bloody spell blood. it? Wow. Lots of research. Um, can you sing me a special song? I uh, No. It depends on how special the song is. Uh, like a happy birthday is kind of special. Happy copyright. birthday to Squidly it's not his Winks. Birthday. Thanks, Squidly Winks. Brilliant. <laughs> R.O.P. But um, no, R.O.P. R.O.P. <laughs> well, we can't know. That's, uh, no. That's Ross was doing this really funny joke the other day that I found hilarious. <laughs> he was playing, it wasn't really a joke. It was he, just a... he was playing music. Like Ross, as you, I'm sure you guys have heard, likes to pretend he's a radio presenter. Um and um, he was playing music <laughs> through his fancy studio speakers. Are they KRS? Are they what, what are they called? Drive time. Are they KRS? KR- oh, oh, the KRK Rokits. Yeah, so they're pretty yeah. nice. And uh, he was playing some music through those, and I could hear him. And he was playing various random crap that he has in his iTunes, and then fading it down and just saying things. And it was quite funny. The uh, Titanic theme. Came yeah. Up. Yo- like, this one's for you, buddy. This yeah. one goes out to Chris Trot. Rest in peace, buddy. <laughs> and they're suggesting that I died. <laughs> yeah, we were making d- up that he was gone. They find it hilarious that I had died. <laughs> Always with us. He was like, guys, guys, I'm not dead and I'm not dying. I was like, oh, and he was God, trying to do some work at the time and I was just pissing myself. And uh, yeah, They did it for a good three to four days, <laughs> I'll have you know. It was, three it was ex- I'll days. agree it was excessive. I, uh, Always with us, I, I regret Always that much. Us. Sleep well, my my angel. Sleep well, sweet. <laughs> sleep well, sweet prince. They've got another angel up in heaven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Key change. It's so funny. My uh, question is simple: If you could have some sort of flux capacitor attached to your modem that allows you, at this point in time, to see a Wikipedia article ten years in the future, which article would you read? Uh, he would choose YouTube weird... just to see where it, it turns out. Fair enough. That's an incredibly hard... Not to mention, Wikipedia isn't always factually correct, so you might hit upon yeah. the one that's got trolled. And gone, oh, oh well, my God. You, well, if you Wikipedia, Wikipedia. Oh, I know. I've got one, which is a <laughs> Wikipedia shut trot. down two years after... The... Yeah. Right, go I've got I've got a smarmy answer for that. Go on. And I'd go to the, the all pages. <laughs> all pages and see what was... So I could peruse what's, you know, Top 10. available to me. I'd probably go it's, to key um, medical discoveries between 2012 and 2022. Well, to be honest, I kind of want to know what would happen to us. So I'm gonna gonna do that. Check check what where we are. Have ah, we got a Wikipedia article? What, what year we uh we all managed to die? All popped up. Ten years. 
10 years from now, mate. Yeah, it'll be 30. Don't trot. No, that's the thing. It's 34. Like, don't start doing that music. I've already got here, your... Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, buddy. Also, he, he, said, um, he said, P.S. Really looking forward to Omnipresent. Origins and expecting no less than six Warrus love scenes in disgusting graphic. It's a good thing that I just added those yeah, in. Yeah, loads. There's too many. All, like, in the same, all in the same How do we cut scene? down on all the Warrus sex was one of the key questions. You know, yeah. Um, all right, we just two, didn't. Two more. We just two more questions. Down. Come on, let's do this. Go on. Who's reading it? I am. It's my great grandmother's ninety fifth birthday today. I don't wow. know what day that was sent on, but happy birthday for then. I was wondering if you sing happy birthday for. A, I've already done a happy birthday she, uh, for a next hat chat. Does she listen? Because that's that's got to be one of the oldest. <laughs> that's gonna be a, hey uh, hey grandmother. Ethan. By the way, I am the guy who started the what would you do without Minecraft topic on the forum. Ethan, thanks, Ethan. Um, do you want to kick, kick, kick this one off, front? You start yeah. with that. Yeah. We'll no, 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 no. That's not the word. That's not that's the word. The for uh, birthday. Oh, hold on. Scratch that. If I just go with a... Uh, Getting high, baby. Uh, <laughs> you have never got to stop. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to you. 95th birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Brilliant. Happy birthday. Have a, have a crack in one. That's a hell of an achievement. One there, so. more question. Yeah, right. Oh, there's one more. I thought we... Thought we that done. wasn't even a question. It's that was more of a request. That was, was a request. Oh, was a request. Well, this one's from on, Alex. Steve. Strange enough. Our American buddy, Alex. He signed you, off. No. Uh, it's obvious that you three are friends. and You make videos Debatable. and hat chats because you enjoy it. And so do we all. However... You're also co-workers in a sense. And making videos is a job. Uh, if that's true, do you feel that being We're co-workers... We're talking about Terry Wogan. <laughs> do you feel that being co-workers gets in the way of your friendship? Do you find that being long-time friends ever gets in the way of your job? Do you ever wish the walrus would just crawl there. off into his corner and expire? <laughs> You're American, what a buddy. What a way to Alex. call it, expiring. I like that's that. Great. nice, nice. I know, I've never used that word just to kind of explain. I think my viewpoint of it is that it's just time spent with people. I think that if you ever go over to your friend's house, I've done this numerous times with people and like stayed there for like three days. Like, oh yeah, let's do that. And then, oh, you can stay over again tonight. Oh, and then at the end of the third day, you're, you're pretty sick of each other. Like, I think that if there's too much exposure to other people for too long, it's kind of just gets a bit much. You just need a break. Personally. <laughs> That's why we're not, I think, we're not looking uh, forward to living each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think three um, days. Try a year. our job, so to speak, isn't strictly a uh, a real job. Well, it's not a, j- a job in the sense that everyone thinks what a job is. I'm not really making well, much sense. I don't know. But I think what we've shaped is based on the fact that we are friends, and what this is is us just having banter, just playing knocking games, knocking down the brittle framework of our friendship. And there's no like <laughs> strong. There's no like I've got to go over there and complete. 15 spreadsheets and I've got to go tell him to do that um, there's no there's none of that ethic there's no work ethic in that sense there is a work between ethic, it work ethic. There, there's a natural not with spreadsheets a natural work ethic there are some but, spreadsheets there are yeah. yeah there are actually I think I've also that struggled like, with them. we all try pretty hard to um, like give each other time out like it doesn't really happen when it when it's something that like maybe you're interested in or when you're playing computer games because it's, it's weird because it's kind of leisure time like we're especially recently with things like daisy and trials like we really enjoy playing them and it's kind of like let's play it like let's get in it now and it's like oh we've got loads of content recorded we should be doing something else and we all want to rec- we all just want to play it and and i think that's kind of weird because your chill out time and your break time is also sort of work they're merged yeah it's weird it's like every time you want to play games, like, well, I could be spending this recording it and actually yeah. making content for us yeah. instead of wasting. It feels like playing games is now wasting time, or, or at least wasting an <laughs> opportunity. Recording. Like, as in, yeah. like, it's more of a yeah. Because w- w- playing games is pretty much like I don't know, an ex- like research almost for a job, isn't it? Like, we're like, oh, let's try that, let's try that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I think there's swings and roundabouts, isn't there, guys? Indeed. Swings and There's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. There's going to be ups again, so... I think, I think there's downs. far more ups and far more... Oh, there, there's an up. Oh, there it goes. Down it's like Roller Coaster it's Tycoon. Again. Life is like Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, if it starts Pe- raining... Peaks Jack, and troughs. Jack the price of umbrellas up. 
Um, and, and we've got and what? don't and sack the cleaners, sir, and throw enough of them. <laughs> I think I think we're all oh, quite aware. Oh, there's no cleaners. In terms of it becoming like co-workers and stuff, we're all quite aware of that scenario, and we're quite happy to make sure that no problems will ever arise in a business sense. Also, I bought a gun us. to avoid that. So. He bought a gun and me so that I could show these guys uh, I'm out. who's boss. I'm out. Like, look, guys, we're done. You know, got the gun. Yeah, we've got a contingency in place. We're going to live together and we're going to hate each other. That's why we're only doing a six-month contract so I can get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Bye. That's not necessarily true, but yeah. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's uh, the end of this delightful episode of Hatch Out. Who knows when it will return? Uh, no Hopefully one does. Soon. No one does, so don't well, even... Well, they've got to get no, their prizes. No, don't, don't count your eggs. Yeah? Is that three th- prizes, guys. Three? If you're top contributor, oh, you get three. Right. Uh, and Top Hatter gets bandcamp code for the filthy animals album oh look so um that guy's come come by with the golf caddy should we get in it or oh he's come to pick us up out. he's come to get us oh oh it's that nice uh it's, it's that guy from oh. pimp pimp my ride i was sorting it out oh oh that's awful it's awful let's get in it right <laughs> good <laughs> day look, everybody. You've, done a ter- you've done a terrible job good day good day Why didn't you stop me? It hurt.